It's now a little more than one week until the Olympic flame burns over Paris and the 2024 Summer Olympic Games officially gets underway. And today, the first athletes arrived at the Olympic Village. And some of them are on Team USA. The American athletes say they're excited to check into their brand new apartments and check out the Village campus. The complex will host more than 20,000 athletes and delegates throughout the Olympics and Paralympics. And right now, a Utah gold medal winning athlete is minutes away from taking off to find out if he will once again represent the United States in the Paralympics. He'll find out this weekend if he makes the cut for Team USA. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live at Salt Lake International Airport for us tonight where that athlete begins his journey. Right, Lauren? Ladies, a journey that begins literally in just a few minutes. David Blair right now is in the airport. He is waiting to board his flight to Florida. And he has a couple of big reasons why he is hoping to make it past the trials this weekend. Lacing up four times a week over the past three years. Training for a competition. Yeah, the discus throw. That ultimately lasts less than two minutes. David Blair has one hope. To do something that kind of brings some attention and prestige to the country. David's goal is to make Team USA for discus throw at the Paralympic track and field trials this weekend. About right. He's proved his passion and elite skill in front of the world before. Yeah, I won a gold in Rio, and then I've won gold medals in world championships. But in 2021, when David stepped into the circle at the Paralympics in Tokyo, typhoon-like weather hit. David slipped and injured his knee, placing fourth. Something completely out of my control, like just took it all away from me. I'm not going to go out like that. That's it. So I come out here and train all by myself, like day after day. David's determination is also fueled by losing his longtime coach, Dr. James Parker, who died from a heart attack last year. He was there to try and help anyone as best as he could have a better, more fulfilling, happy life. Knowing this would mean the world to Dr. Parker keeps David training. <laughs> Thinking of a comeback from Tokyo keeps him throwing. It'll put me on the team. <laughs> All for the hope that David is destined for Paris. Do your best and stay calm. <laughs> Keep the nerves in check. <laughs> oh, that was going to hit. Yeah, so David competes on Saturday afternoon and we will be tracking what happens. We are rooting for him. We hope he makes it to Paris and we'll keep you guys updated. Oh, we sure wish him the best yeah. and root for him. That's awesome. Lauren, thanks for telling a story. Well, KSL 